So one of the things I'm sure you figured out by this point is that the Citadel DLC has a lot of content in it. First of all, the story is just epic and huge. Uh, but B, I'm sure you uh, you may have realized, as I've said before, this DLC is designed as a love letter to the fans, for the fans, uh, in love of the world, the story, and most importantly, arguably, the characters. So as part of this DLC, almost every major character that you've ever seen, not all of them, but like almost all of the major crew of the Normandy, uh, has a special, unique scene uh, just kind of to pay respects to them. Uh, and there's a lot of content there. There's a lot of video content. What I've done for the sake of pacing is I've actually broken them off into their own special episodes because I think they are awesome. I think they are important, but I don't feel like the pacing flows right if I just insert them into the normal flow of the episodes of my playthrough. So what we're about to see is uh, the first of the uh, Mass Effect 3 Citadel character specials. Let's call it that. Let's get to it, all right? Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way, so try not to lose it. Roger that. Disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. Great prizes! You could win! 
You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? God, I'm right, I do. Okay, then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's gotta use his manners once in a while. Please. Easy, easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid, where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? And at this time you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing! You can play yourself! Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted! We have the real Shepard now! All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. Ah! You die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Salarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Salarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers. If only someone had warned us about them years ago. This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed honor. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. 
And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto-7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's some half-brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorture Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Hellcasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the Genophage. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Hey, excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? And... Hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but... decent, overall. Oh. Thank you. I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. Ha! You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. 
We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. I've always loved that song. Making sure you don't run off to something more important. I can't imagine what that would be. We should do this more often. Yes, well, maybe after. Every day after. Shepard. Good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> It did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know, you just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Hey, Lola. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's 
just so not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not making things awkward for you and Liara, right? <laughs> not even remotely. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit, right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. been holding out on me. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Look at you. You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. <clears throat> Keep it up, amigo. form. That's 20. Not bad. Commander. Forty, nice. Kick in ass. <clears throat> You're gonna be ripped, man. That's 60! High five! 20. Good stuff, Hefe. Oh, 
yeah. That's halfway to my record. Great. One hundred. That's impressive. Thanks. Just eighty two to go. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Ha. <clears throat> That's it, come on. So close. Holy hell, you did it! I... I don't know what to say. How you feeling? Might need help pulling my armor on next time. I'm happy to help, Lola. <laughs> don't tease a girl when she's winded. <laughs> okay, okay. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry, I won't. Come on, let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> <clears throat> 